it's bright outside. Nice and sunny. Blue skies everywhere you go. Doing my gardening in the, in the neighborhood. So here is a quick update on the allotment. Um, is it July 8th? I believe it's July 8th. Um, so here we go. Potatoes starting to get a little weaker, maybe coming to the end of their life. Um, which means that harvest could happen at some point soon. We'll see, I'm gonna feel this one out a little bit. Uh, peppers are finally starting to come into their own, which is really good. Some of them that have been shaded out by the potatoes are still kind of small, but they're green, they're nice and green. That's always a good sign. These are the lychee tomatoes that are full of spines, um, but we do have fruit happening. It's cool. Tomatoes, nice and green, getting tall. We're a little bit behind most other people this season, but this one's pretty tall. It's coming up to my sternum. And there they are. So far, the tomato wall is holding, so that's good. A ton of marigolds. This variety bloomed first, uh, and they're pretty cool. Um, down here, we've got chard, nice and lush, beautiful, and uh, peas. Lots of peas. Today I'm gonna harvest them figure out what to do with them. Cucumbers, finally starting to climb. We're really behind. Um, beans, looking nice and green and climbing this up. They're almost all taller than me now. This variety of marigold, very tall. And the flowers haven't quite formed yet, but they will. I harvested all the beets. We got kale over there. In my uh, berry patch, Things are looking juicy. Actually pretty tasty. I'll probably eat some right now. Um, sea buckthorn plants are finally starting to uh, look a little more vigorous. And the goji berry, nice and green. Huckleberries nada. All right, over here. Uh, this variety of marigold is also taking its time. Um, we've still got a couple lettuces to harvest. And uh, this is the walking stick kale, and it's funny because they've kind of grown in order of how big they are. So that one's pretty big. I should figure out how to eat these big leaves. And these beans are just starting to come to life. They've been pretty sad. That's too bad. Let's see. Oh, then I got uh, my grapes, my roses. Oh, onions. Nice and big, starting to bulb up. Roses are doing uh, very nicely. And I've gotten the hang of uh, deadheading them. I just kind of pinch, pinch them off. Pretty easy. These are the uh, zinnias. They've, uh, I like how many colors there are. I didn't expect that in this mix. They're pretty. They're very nice looking. So that was, uh, this is all new for me, the zinnias. They're pretty cool. Got some chamomile flowers and this kind of ornamental oregano plant. The grapes are existing. I, I wonder if I should like tie them back or something because they are, you know, getting into the middle of the pathway. Um, let me see. Let's see, let me get some clusters. Where are the clusters? Oh, there we go. Yeah. 
could be grapes. Could be grapes, and uh, that's about it. Looking pretty.